Hi guys, today I'll be showing you 10 must-have tweaks for your jailbroken iOS 12 devices in 2019. If you like the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified when a new video is released. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. The first tweak is called Charge Animations. What this tweak does is that it allows you to change the traditional look of your charging animation to a whole new level. So if we go to settings here, scroll down, and here you see charging animation, click on it, scroll down, here the animation. We have different kinds of animations here, like this one, or this. Like that, like iPhone 10, or like this, or watch OS like this, or iOS like this. So let's say I select this one. So if I lock it, plug in a charging cable, you can see now it has this look. It's awesome. Again, you can change as well. Let's see, put something else. So put the Apple Watch charging animation. Let's lock. It's really cool. So that is charge animations. Let's move on to tweak number two. Tweak number two is called pencil charging indicator. This tweak is similar to the first tweak. It changes the charging animation. However, this tweak, whenever you plug in your charging cable to your device, it will pop up the charging animation just like when you charge your second generation Apple Pencil. If we go to settings here, scroll down. Here, down here is a pencil charging indicator. Click on it. By default, all of these will be turned on and there are different modes you can choose here, like light. Like that, it pop up at the top. Or dark, like that. Or like this. Or just like that. Let's say I choose the first one. If I plug in the cable, the charging cable, you see, even at lock screen, plug it in. Like that. See that's a look of Apple Pencil charging. And again it's similar to the first tweak. This is depends on your preference. If you like the first look of charging animation, you can just download and install the first one. If you like the second one, you just install the second one. That's tweak number two. Let's move on to tweak number three. Tweak number three is called confirm to proceed to. What this tweak does is that when you press on call or send button, it will ask for your confirmation first before calling or sending SMS or email to that particular person. And the way it asks for your confirmation is through your touch ID or face ID. Okay, if we go to settings again, scroll down here, you can see this is confirmed to proceed to. So with this tweak, you can use it for phone call by enable fingerprint or face ID. You can even add password to it for messages as well. Same thing, messages, and you can add password for even mail, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. So let me show you an example here. Let's say I want to send a message. So let's say I want to send to this. I type something and I click on the send button. See, it asks you to scan your finger. If I scan, it will send to this number. If I don't, I just click cancel. Same thing with calling. Let's say I call number. If we click on call button, see, it asks me to confirm whether I want to call or not. If I press to scan my finger, I will start calling like that. So with this tweak, you don't have to worry about accidentally send to anyone you don't want to send to or call to. Okay, this is tweak number three. Let's move on to tweak number four. Tweak number four is called 
double tap lock. With this tweak, you can just double tap on your home screen and it will lock your iDevice instantly. So just go to settings here. You can see it said double tap lock, click on it and you enable it, it will work. Here I'm on home screen, if I double tap on the home screen, see it locked. And remember, it works only on your home screen. Let's say I'm going back to the setting, I double tap, doesn't work. Only when you are at home screen, double tap, it will lock your device. That's tweak number four. Let's move on to tweak number five. Tweak number five is called home gesture. This tweak is intended for any iPhone older than iPhone 10 because with this home gesture tweak, you will get the iPhone 10 features. You see this feature and this is my iPhone 6s and it works smoothly. Like that. That is home gesture. Again, we go to settings here, we have home gesture. There are lots of detailed features that you can modify based on here, you see. And whenever you change something, you click apply at the top here and it will work. I mean, with this iPhone 10 feature, it makes your old iPhone look new again. It's awesome. Look like you're using iPhone 10. Again, it's recommended for any iPhone older than iPhone 10 to use. This is an awesome tweak that you should have. Okay, let's move on to tweak number six. Tweak number six is called Taxitas. What this tweak does is that it brings the AirPods pop-up to connect feature to other non-Apple Bluetooth speakers or headsets. We go to settings here. Scroll down. Here is a Taxitas. You look closely. You can see here, you can have the mini, the modern, the classic. The classic look like when you connect your AirPods to your device, it pop up like this. The smaller one, or the mini look like when you connect or charge your Apple Pencil. And you can choose between dark mode and light mode. When you're done selecting, click Respring here, it will work. Let me show you an example. So if we go to my Bluetooth, I'm currently turning my Bluetooth speaker on and it's not from Apple. If we go to Bluetooth here. Here my Bluetooth is called Turcom TS450. If I click on connect, wait for it to connect. Now it's connected. You can see it pop up just like when you connect your AirPods to your iPhone or iPad. It's really awesome. But this tweak is kind of funny because for Apple AirPods, if you open the case cover, it will pop up this and ask you to connect. But with this tweak, only when after you go to Bluetooth setting and click on connect after it's connected, then it will pop up this. That's funny about this tweak, but still, it gives you the look or the style of your AirPods connectivity feature. That's tweak number six. Let's move on to tweak number seven. Tweak number seven is called Kill X. What this tweak does is that it allows you to kill all the running apps with just one swipe. So usually when you are in the app switching mode to the little running app, you swipe up and you have to keep doing that one by one until you quit all your running apps. But if you swipe down, you see with Kill X, it will delete all the apps just with one swipe down like that. Very simple. That's tweak number seven. Let's move on to tweak number eight. Tweak number eight is called Message Colors. As its name suggests, what this tweak does is that it allows you to change the colors of your Messages app. So we go to Settings here, scroll down, and you will see Message Colors. Click on it. You can change the bubble colors and the dark mode. After you've done so, you click Apply here. Like in my case, if I go to my Messages app, See it's dark mode. This is the look of the regular SMS. For iMessage here, the color is like this. Again with this tweak, it's really awesome. You can change your messages app, dark mode color, and also you can change the bubble colors as well. It looks really cool with this. That's tweak number eight. Let's move on to tweak number nine. 
For tweak number 9, it is called Call Bar Access. What this tweak does is that it shrinks down your whole screen phone app when calling to just a small piece, giving you more room to do something else on your phone. So we go to settings here again. You can see Call Bar Access. And you enable it, you're good to go. Everything else is already preset for you. Just leave it like that. You can also modify it if you want to, but for me, I would leave it like that. Again, if I want to call someone, let's say. Click call. You see at the top, it only takes a small part of the screen. See, it only take up a small part of your iPhone home screen. It's really cool. That's call bar access. Let's move on to the last tweak of the list today. The last tweak today is called Bio Locker. What this tweak does is that it allows you to lock your apps or any other feature on your iOS device with your face ID or your touch ID. Let's say I want to go to my photo here. See, that's Bio Locker. I think most of you already know it. It's still really awesome, this tweak. It just protects your privacy very securely. You scan and then you can open the app or any feature. Here, if you go to settings, you see bio locker here. Scan. You're in, you can protect your applications, your control center, your folders, other settings, other features. You go to settings here. Anything here, let's say sound. If we turn it on, if I want to just go to sound, let's see. You click on it, you see it requires me to scan my finger. Like that. It's really awesome. Okay, that's it guys. These are the top 10 must-have tweaks for your jailbroken iOS 12 devices. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.